Savings for the Poor Innovation Knowledge Network is a project which is focused on working collaboratively with the field to overcome the challenges and capitalize on opportunities of savings development for the poor. The project is centered on three main areas that I'm going to walk through over the course of this webinar. The first is to address data gaps and bring together the data efforts into a central location. The second is to compile resources and analysis and review what we've learned so far. And the third is to discuss openly as a community of practitioners the way forward. At the beginning of the project, we reviewed the landscape of data that was currently being collected and noticed that very little to no data was being collected at the product level. To build this foundation and fill this gap, we've collected data across 32 countries, 148 institutions, and 453 products, and are currently collecting more data every single day. On the data page, three different tools allow you to dig into and analyze this data. Our mapping visualization, which compiles our product data with data and information from CGAP, the World Bank, and the Financial Inclusion Regulation Center. The second, the saving product graph, which allows you to graph product features across our database, including minimum opening deposit and minimum balance. The third is the saving product comparison feature, which I'm going to showcase for you. This comparison looks at three different products targeting women in Kenya. Changamanka is a startup in Kenya, which focuses on utilizing smart card technology to deliver efficiently their saving product. The Malika account, offered by INM Bank, a commercial bank in Kenya, is a commitment savings account that utilizes innovative advertising and dissemination methods to create a value proposition within its customers. The Tango Mango Savings Account, offered by a microfinance institution by the name of Kenyan Women Finance Trusts, focuses on pricing and has a minimum opening deposit of zero, which means that you can start savings with as little as 15 cents or 15 shillings. With our Saving Product Browser, we invite you to make your own comparisons and find your own stories to tell. Our resource page allows you to explore the latest analysis and reports in a number of different ways. Topically, the issue areas of marketing, technology, product development, and client issues were identified by our partners as key analytic areas. We are currently aggregating the most recent publications uploaded to the site around these topic areas. For those interested in digging into the specifics, we have organized publications by publication type, institution type, product type, and countries for further exploration. The Spinnaker team is also contributing to this resource bank. We recently launched a report on savings for the poor in Kenya and are continuing to look for resources from the field to add to our resource libraries. So please get in touch and share your own research. One of the central goals of the Spinnaker site is to create a channel for the community of practitioners to engage and discuss developments in the field. We maintain a blog to discuss the latest trends and projects and also aggregate relevant blog posts and events from the community. We invite you to vote in our latest polls and pose questions to the field like this one from Anjana. Where do we find the biggest challenges to the savings field? Supply side product development, demand for formal savings, both, and engage in a discussion around answering them. In the end, Spinnaker's success is dependent on our partners and community members. And we encourage you to contact us to share your ideas, read more about the project, and explore synergies.